How's it going, everyone? Josh with Stable Fit Life, and welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go over the clean. Last video, we talked about the swing. If you haven't seen that video, please click in this corner box right here. You should see it now and watch that video. All right. Remember the key cue for that one, the hips drive, the arms guide is going to be the same rule for the clean. So in order for you to have a good clean, you have to have a good swing. Really quick, if you like the information we're putting out there, please subscribe to our channel. If you like what we're going over today, please smash that like button. And right now we have a week long trial. Yes, seven days on our app, Stable Fit Life. You can find it on both Apple and Google Play Store. So please click the link below in the description box and you can check that out later. But let's get back to the clean. So the clean, the setup, you're going to be a foot away from the kettlebell. All right, make sure you have some space between your legs. All right, so from here, starting position, we're going to hike that kettlebell to us from here, and we're going to pull up. All right, in the beginning, it may not look like that, and it's okay. In the beginning, you may have a tight grip to where you get this. All right, it's going to happen. All right, but remember, it comes with practice we have to put the work in so in the beginning we tend to grip that kettlebell with a death grip and it doesn't allow the kettlebell to move freely in our hands so we tend to get the bruise or the bashing on our forearms biceps and shoulders so i highly suggest you pick these up these are from bells of steel these are wrist wraps however they have a plastic shield in them which will help protect from the bashing in the beginning. As you get more reps, as you practice the technique, you'll get better and you won't have to use these. All right, so let's talk about the grip with the kettlebell. So there's a thousand ways that you can grip this kettlebell. I'm gonna show you a few ways to grip it and you decide which one works for you because at the end of the day, everyone's different. Everyone's hand is different, grip is different, right? So you decide which one works for you, and as you progress down the road, you can uh, change it to a different grip. So in the beginning, I highly suggest the thumbs down position, right? So it'll look like this. Grab it from the corner end of the, the bell of the kettlebell here, and then you're gonna hike it up. All right, the reason why I prefer this method for beginners is because something happens, all right? You have the natural bend of the elbow goes right into your groin area here. So if you happen to have a head too heavy of a kettlebell, all right, you won't have to worry about hyperextending at the elbow, okay? So once you get practice, get the reps in, you then transition to that neutral grip. This is what I currently use right now. So same thing, grab it here. I get to you. Remember, the hips drive, arms guide. All right, it's a lot easier for me. Gives me more natural feeling with the kettlebell, and I'm able to be consistent throughout all the movements with this grip for me. Another grip that you may see is more of a hard style or traditional way of gripping the kettlebell. All right, so you're getting more of that pronated grip here. I can see you. All right. All of them work well. You just have to figure out which one you want to use in your training. Now to practice the clean, I like to stand by the wall. It helps me keep everything nice and tight and compact with the movement. And so this is something that you can practice at home, in your own garage, inside your house, living room, doesn't matter as long as you're by a wall. Just make sure you're not too close to it because yeah, you may be nice and smooth with the movement, but depending on the size of the kettlebell, we don't want the kettlebell to hit the wall and potentially hit us in the face. So here, same stance as usual, all right? But now we're just doing it by the wall. And so when we go into a clean, it's here. Trying to keep everything nice and tight, all right? 
And don't mind the watch. Try to remember to take yours off because you will damage your watch here. But I'm not flaring my elbow out. I'm trying to keep everything nice and tight, even by the wall. Okay? So this will help you find the form, find the rhythm, the technique down, perfect it, so that way you don't injure yourself along the way. And last, we'll go over your hand placement on the kettlebell. So try, I know in heart, it's hard in the beginning, try to stay away from this belt, barbell type of grip with your kettlebell because after snatches, swings, uh, presses, this is not going to feel too good on the wrist. So try to angle it. Try to see if I can get this in the picture. But try to angle it to where you come in with your hand and it goes straight down your palm. So you kind of have this position. Your knuckles are straight up, point to the sky. I can have my hand open when I do presses, snatches, whatever the case may be. Try to get this grip every time you use the kettlebell so we have that consistency. But again, it's not going to be that way in the beginning. So this all comes with practice, techniques, get the reps in. The more we train with the kettlebell, the more consistent we can be with the grip in our training. So hopefully you liked what we went over today. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment section below. Or remember, the hips drive, the arms guide. Real quick, try to work on your grip. Use the wall technique to perfect the form to get that down. And also try the different grip positions, all right? Are you more neutral? Do you want to use the thumbs down position in the beginning? Maybe you want to use the hard style kettlebell, the more pronated uh, grip position. Again, it doesn't matter. It, at the end of the day, it depends on you, yourself. How consistent can you be with your grip as well as how consistent and frequent are you training? All right. So all depends on what we're doing. Find out which one works for you and give it a try. But smash that like button and I'll see you in the next video.